welcome to TLH patterns in this video we'll see how to crochet a drawstring bag the body of this bag is made using chains of uh, two different colors that are interlaced together producing a beautiful intricate looking texture it is uh, made using only basic crochet stitches like single crochet chains and uh, double crochet to make this bag I needed about 75 to 85 meters of uh, medium worsted weight yarn in two colors I used blue and white and uh, I used a 5 mm crochet hook and a stitch marker beads to attach to the drawstrings are optional let's begin the pattern first I am uh, taking blue make a magic ring then work three chains this will count as your first double crochet now work 14 double crochets into the ring Totally you will have 15 stitches in this round. Now join by working a slip stitch in the third chain at the beginning of the round. Let's begin the second round with chain 3 which counts as the first stitch. Then work 1 double crochet in the same stitch. Then work 2 double crochets in each stitch around. At the end of the round join with a slip stitch in the first stitch in this round you will have 30 stitches and then chain 3 here we will we are going to increase in every alternate uh, stitch so work two double crochets in the next stitch then one double crochet in the next stitch followed by two in the next stitch one in the next and two in the next repeat this around you'll have 45 stitches in this round join at the end of round we'll start the next round chain three and then work double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch so here you will increase in every third stitch double crochet in two stitches Two double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in two stitches. Then two double crochet in the next stitch. Continue increasing a stitch in every third stitch and you will have 60 stitches in this round. work two more rounds of increase in round five you will increase you will work two double crochets in every fourth stitch and in the next round you will work two double crochets in every fifth stitch i have completed six rounds in the sixth round there are 90 stitches 
and now we'll work one round of uh, double crochet in every stitch so in this round also you will have 90 stitches we have completed seven rounds and now we'll start the body of the bag using the same color chain one and work a single crochet in the same stitch chain seven skip the next four stitches and work a single crochet in the next stitch chain 7 skip 4 stitches and then work a single crochet in the next stitch repeat around chain 7 skip 4 stitches and a single crochet in the next stitch stop when you have the last one left so far we have worked 17 chain 7 spaces this is the last one so here make four chains and then work a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round totally you will have 18 chain 7 spaces now we are going to use the next color so Pull up the last loop on your hook and uh, place a marker so that your stitches don't unravel. Now pick up the next color and uh, join it to the second stitch after the single crochet. So after the single crochet skip one stitch and then into the next stitch join the yarn from the inside. All the chain 7 spaces from the previous round will stay outside now join yarn and work chain one and then a single crochet in the same stitch then chain seven then work a single crochet in the second stitch after the next single crochet of previous round so skip one stitch after the single crochet and then work a single crochet in the next stitch all on the inner side Again chain 7, skip the next stitch after the next single crochet and work a single crochet in the stitch after that. Chain 7, single crochet in the second stitch after the next single crochet. Repeat this around. as in the previous round work 17 chain 7 spaces and instead of the last chain 7 work chain 4 and then make a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round but before closing the round push the blue yarn inside don't forget to do it every time and then work a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round The next round is also worked using the same color, chain 1 and then single crochet in the same space and then work chain 7. 
make a single crochet in the next chain 7 space chain 7 single crochet in next chain 7 space repeat this around As previously, finish the round with uh, 4 chains and double crochet worked in the single crochet at the beginning of round. The next 2 rounds we are going to work using the blue yarn. So, remove the stitch marker and place it in the loop of the white yarn and then Start the next round using blue. I made a mistake here. See the blue yarn is stuck inside the previous round. So before joining, be careful to push the other color aside before joining. Make sure that the yarn that you are going to ne use next is not uh, caught in between the loops. Push it towards the right and then join. Now I am placing the stitch marker in the loop of the white yarn and I am going to work using the blue. Insert hook into the loop. chain 1 and work a single crochet in the same space then chain 7 and you're going to work single crochet in the next blue loop so this is where you're going to work your next single crochet but before that you're going to push it inside through the white loop and then work a single crochet so this will stay out the white loop will stay out now chain 7 and push the next blue loop through the white loop and then work a single crochet so all these white loops will stay outside and the blue loops will be formed inside chain 7 and push the next loop through the loop of the previous round and work single crochet again chain 7 push the blue loop in through the white loop and work a single crochet now repeat this around so remember that all the white loops will stay out and the blue loops will be formed inside So far you have worked 17 chain 7 spaces and instead of the last one work chain 4 and then a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round but before that remember to push the other color inside and then work the sing double crochet into the single crochet. The next round is also using the same color chain 1 and single crochet in the same space and then chain 7 single crochet in the next chain 7 space chain 7 single crochet in the next chain 7 space repeat this around 
you will work two rounds using each color the first round using a new color will be the round where you will work the chain seven spaces uh, through the chain seven space of the previous round and the second round of the same color will be just plain chain seven and single crochet in the next space around I'll finish with chain four and then a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round now we'll remove the stitch marker from the white yarn and then place it in the loop of the blue yarn continue working using the white yarn chain one single crochet in the same space chain seven now you have to work into the white loop so push this inside the blue loop and then work a single crochet in the white chain 7 push the white in through the blue and work a single crochet in the next chain 7 space so now all the white loops will be inside and blue will be outside again chain 7 push this white through the blue inside and work a single crochet repeat it around this is the last one chain four and work a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round before that push the blue yarn inside and then work a double crochet in the single crochet and now the next round will also be in white here you will work chain one single crochet in the same space followed by chain seven and then single crochet in the next chain seven space chain seven single crochet in the next chain seven space repeat this around finally chain four and a double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of round then place the stitch marker in the loop and pick up the other color so the last two rounds are the rounds that you will be repeating alternating the colors you can also use different colors for a colorful bag or you can use one constant color and three or four different colors like black two rounds of black and uh, two rounds of red then again two rounds of black then two rounds of green that will also be beautiful see so here you can see how these chains are interlaced the bag is now almost done I worked it up to a height of uh, 10 inches in total blue is the main color here so I started with blue and I'm going to finish it with blue so now we will fasten off the white yarn and then we'll work the last round using the blue yarn chain one single crochet in the same space chain seven single crochet in the next blue chain 7 space after pulling it inside through the chain 7 space of white yarn 
Complete this round. Finish the round with 4 chains and double crochet in the single crochet at the beginning of the round. Now the final round is a round of trimming. Chain 1, single crochet in the same space. Then chain 3 and work a single crochet in the single crochet. This is called a pico. Then a single crochet in the same space. Then chain 2 and now we will make a pico in the loop of the white yarn. So here make a single crochet, chain 3, single crochet in single crochet and then single crochet in the same space, chain 2, then go to the blue chain 7 space, single crochet, chain 3, single crochet in single crochet then single crochet in the same space then chain 2 move on to the white loop continue this working alternately in a blue and a white Finally chain 2 and join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Cut the yarn off and weave in all the loose ends. Ok now we will make a cord. Uh, take the white yarn and make a slip knot and then work chains measuring about 30 inches in length. Then fasten off. If you are going to join beads at the ends then you can leave a tail for uh, inserting the beads and then weave in the cord through the circumference of the bag. The bag is finished. I hope you like this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.